Hi again. Uh, let's continue uh, discussing phaser. And uh, you know, so far we've we've got this uh, the game here, and we've got the characters kind of represented by a, a circle. And what I want to do now is I want to use a circle body for the stars and the bomb. Okay. So um, let's take a look at the code that we have, and I'm going to scroll down to um, to uh, create stars and create bombs okay so I'll go find those sections down here as our code gets more complex it might be good to add more comments in here I'm using this double line as kind of a, a section marker right so all the update stuff is here and there's one of these above the um, the create section but now maybe in here if I'm trying to find you know, stars all the time. Maybe I should do um, I should do kind of a single line like this, and say you know, create stars, right? So I know this is the create stars section now. Now this may not be obvious, but if we look at this, we've got this dot stars is physics this add group. So we're adding a group of stars, right? And this kind of describes like how the group should be created, right? So we give it a key of star, we say repeat 11 times, and we set the x to uh, 12 at the y of zero, and then we step the x 70. So the first one I think is at 12, and then we add 70 for each of the 11 copies, right? But this isn't where the actual physics, you know, um, body is created, right? That's actually created down here when we iterate over the stars. So as we iterate over the children, we can we can get each of the, the 11 stars that was created, and it passes it into this iterate function as a child object, and then we set the set the um, the property on it. So we're setting, like in this case, we're setting the bounce property and we're kind of randomizing it so every star bounces a little bit differently, right? It makes the game more interesting. So what we're going to do to set the body or the to make a circular body for the star is we're going to say uh, child.setCircle and we'll give it a circle. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the star over here and the star's... Um, it shows me here that they're 24 by 22 pixels, right? So uh, maybe I'll make it 11. How about that, right? So I'll give it a radius of 11. And we could give it an offset, too, if we need to nudge the circle a little bit left, right, up, or down. So let's test that out. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll make it 12, right? There we go. Yeah, that's perfect, right? Okay. Um, you know, and then like the game, it doesn't have to be, the shapes don't have to actually outline the, the character perfectly. No one playing the game will actually see the physics body, but if the collisions seem realistic, then that's where people will buy into the game. Okay? So I think that that's working pretty good. Let's do the same thing with the bomb. Okay, so, so if I look over here, um, I can see that the bomb is 14 by 14. So if I give it a radius of 7, that should just cover it, right? And the bombs are created a little bit lower down. Let's do this. Let's put a comment in here. This is like... Collect star, right? And then uh, this is create bombs down here. Let's put a, a marker here. Okay, so we got create bombs. And here's where we where we create a group of bombs. <clears throat> or act, but the but the bomb like the number of bombs is not set. So there, there are zero bombs when the game begins. When a character um, collects all the stars, then we we check to see if the active number of stars, if it's you know greater than z if it's equal to zero, then we know that you've collected all the stars, and then we can reset the stars, and we oh we might have to um, 
set the body again. No, I guess not. It'll probably keep its the circular body, so we don't have to do that. Um, but down here, we'll need to um, create a new bomb, and then when we create the new bomb, we'll also want to set the body. So I'm going to say bomb because, you know, <clears throat> right here, we, we said this dot bombs create, and this is going to make a new bomb with X of whatever, the, whatever we calculated on this line, and Y of 16, name is bomb. That's the artwork, right? And then this, th what was returned from this call is a reference to the bomb that was created. So we can say bomb set circle, and I think our circle radius was seven, right? So that I think that was the number that we looked at, right? So uh, let me get rid of this, and then save that, and then we'll test it again. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I got to go collect a. Um, get. I got to collect all the stars so I can get um, the um, the bomb to show up right. Oh, hey, that's looking pretty good, right? Yeah. So so that's pretty excellent right there. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope hopefully that's useful to you. And then we'll continue. And we'll talk about some more code stuff in the next video.